Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, we'll continue our little lesson here on checking out what's on uh, the uh, spectrum and the higher frequencies but higher solar activity. Lots of stuff, lots of interesting stuff to check out. And so let's continue our exploration of the higher bands uh, and uh, if you have a radio that has single sideband 28,000 to 29,000 kilohertz, great, great band, 10 meter band, a full one megahertz of spectrum, that's a thousand kilohertz. Um, and this is of course the 10 meter amateur band, it's open in the daytime mostly. There are exceptions to the rule, we always say that exceptions exist. Uh, sometimes at the middle of the night it could be open because of sporadic e-skip uh, or oral activity, it depends. But for the most part, the standard propagation is daytime, and winter is often much better than summer for 10 meters. Actually, it is open and has a lot of activity. So let's check out what's in there. First part is Morse code. So technically you would hear CW signals here on the first part. So this is a first. What is interesting in here also, so of course FT8 on FT8 on 28074. This is what it sounds like. I often see people saying, what's the weird, you know, sounding thing on that frequency? So this is FT8. Uh, a little higher on 080, you will get FT4. Nothing much happening in FT4 right now, and so on. And of course, there's some radio teletype here uh, from time to time. And we move up. Now, what's interesting, starting at about 28150, there's a bunch of beacons. And these are nice because these are kind of cool to DX. So you'll be able to use these beacons and see what propagation is like. There are beacon lists out there. I will actually try to share one link with this video uh, of a, a beacon list that you can actually refer to. It's a great way also to learn Morse code because they identify in Morse code. Oh, I think this is, I said 080, I'm, I'm, I, I got it wrong earlier. 180 is the FT4, that's FT4. So if you hear that, that's FT4, 28180. This is interesting, it's some kind of digital mode that I need to check out. There's, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but I've heard it a few times. Uh, so this mm, is something I need to check out. So these are all the beacons. Let's try a... Uh, no, let's go into CW. Not getting it all, but uh, see if we can get it a code. But 
anyways, these are beacons. They identify. Sometimes they give their power. They're always, most of them, low power. 10 watts, under, you know, 20 watts. So not decoding very well right now. So, anyways, let's continue our search. So there's a lot of them up to about 28,300. And then when you go to 28,300, so some here on the top. It's the single sideband portion, voice. First in this band you will be using upper side band. He's calling CQ North America. stations calling North America so that's technically what you'll have up to 20 ta 9,000 kilohertz before the switch to the AM mode the upper part is a little quieter but it's worth going through all the full 28,000 to 29,000 kilohertz if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up hope that these videos will help you in tuning around the bands